Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm looking for Rena Rush, please. Yes. It's it's Mark Pemberton here. I uh, do work on behalf of Alma Mater Academy. Yes, yes. Basically what they do, all the new pupils that come into the school, uh, they ask me to do a background check. Yes. Maxine and Tanika <laughs> at this stage have been approved but not accepted for 2015. I've been accepted as far as the, as far as the principal concerned. Yeah, no, you see, it's 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 conditional, uh, depending on what my background check reveals. Because um, people did reply and said they they welcome to come to to us as team, and then um, I mean we've already paid the school fees and everything, and they accepted it. So. Mm, yeah, you see, my job is to do background checks on the parents and mm. on the kids. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, well, one of them is, is obviously financial, and we, we check the parents' financials, and, um, and we just see, okay, can they afford the school fees? Quite clearly, you, you guys can because you've already paid up front. Uh, but then we need to look at uh, the readiness of, of the actual children because uh, it's, it's, it's a privilege to go to Alma Mater Academy in Krugerstorp, you understand? Uh, I'm with you. Yeah. And uh, well, what we've uh, found is that uh, a uh, Maxine... From what, well, what what I've discovered is that, is that her spelling is, is not exactly up to scratch. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Good. At the school, we have a spelling bee every single year, so we're quite proud that our pupils are good spellers. Yes. Yeah, so this is n not looking good for Maxine at this stage. Uh, as far as we're concerned, they've been accepted. We've already paid for the year's school fees and everything. Yeah, you see, there, 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 there is a difference uh, between being accepted and being approved. Yeah, you see, they didn't, they didn't explain that to us when we went for the interview. And Maxine's gone through tests and everything. She went through twice already. Mm -hmm. And there was apparently a big improvement, and that's why they accepted her. Um, because we, we are uh, very much proud ourselves on our academics here at the school. Oh, we okay. wouldn't want pupils coming in and... and, and and tarnishing the good name. You understand? Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Let's just get to the bottom of the spelling thing. Um, who did she inherit this from? Nobody. <laughs> I'm not happy with uh, signing off on this form and saying, okay, she's uh, uh, good enough to go to Alma Mater Academy. <laughs> I bet your daughter wouldn't even be able to spell Alma Mater. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. I'm going to take this up with the principal and she can be in contact with you. Lynn and I are best friends, so I do this work on her behalf. Sure. Um, so you can do whatever you want, but she knows I do a good job. But, Bob, this is actually very rude, and don't you think you should have actually, isn't this what my child needs, is for my child to go to a different school? We wouldn't want um, your kid to bring down our school's name. <laughs> <laughs> She's on her way to the school now. Tina speaking. Good afternoon. It's Bob here. Bob? I'm hoping we can conclude this conversation. Yes, no problem. Where was I? All right. About Lexi that won't be able to spell Alma Mater. <laughs> to be honest, I don't think she would be able to. <laughs> Bob? I'm actually here at Alma Mater now. I'm on my way to go see Lynn. Maybe you should work more on her spelling. It's probably inherited from you. Wow. Oh. From me? Yeah. <laughs> Why would she inherit it from me? I did. I got a distinction for English in matric. Well, just because you got a distinction, ma'am, doesn't mean that you can spell. <laughs> oh, you're very personal, hey. I, I really do not appreciate you talking to me like this. Can you spell so Alma Mater? I will go speak to Lynn. I'm on my way to the office now, and I will. Just hold on. Can you even spell Alma Mater? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, what is she doing? This is running down to the principal. <laughs> <laughs> Can you follow her? Rina! <laughs> oh, She's actually oh, running. She is. What are you saying? When you told me my wife, my child won't be even, even be able to spell Alma Mater. Yeah. So you just me your, um, she must have a spelling problem from you. I said, excuse me, I had a distinction in the trick. Daddy will yeah. <laughs> Rina speaking, hello? It's Bob, yeah. Can you spell Alma Mater for me? <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm not bad. <laughs> I'm 
email me. I want all your this whole conversation on email. Mm. All right, and then I'll start on my mat if you on paper. You see, you don't know. That's why. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so in the principal's office Boss? now. Man. Yes. I'm standing here in Alma Mater's offices. Yes. And they do not know anything about you. Uh, ask them if they know about a guy called Wackhead Simpson. Yes, <laughs> 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 what? F*** you, Brittany. I'm not trying to get what Look, he's just clear. No, man. I'll give you one last shot. Can you spell Alma Mater, please? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Moor, Brittany. <laughs>